Now for today's video, I am excited to announce that I am bringing over the world's largest tortoises to my new zoo. <laughs> We're just gonna lightly and gently go in, 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 in. All right, big guy, you're getting loaded in. Oh yeah. Man. One, two, three. Okay. We gotta, Oof. we gotta walk. Landon just told me the galop pooped, and I can confirm that it's true. Oh my gosh, bro, are you covered in poop? What is up, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you are having just an absolutely amazing day. Now, for today's video, I am excited to announce that I am bringing over the world's largest tortoises to my new zoo. Now, these tortoises are ones that I actually currently own. They are my Galapagos tortoises. The Galapagos tortoises are the world's largest tortoises. Some individual tortoises can get up to a thousand pounds, so we actually have them over at my house. But before we actually bring them over here, we've got to make a couple of repairs to the fence over here because on the back side of the fence as you can see right here we've already started our repairs there as you can see we've already put some wood up but before it was like this where the tortoises could just walk under and get on out so we've got to make our repairs once we're done making our repairs Landon and I are gonna head over to my house we're gonna pick up these tortoises we're gonna bring them to their new home Landon I appreciate you helping out today brother appreciate it so guys without further ado let's hop into today's tortoise build this 4x4 right here is four inches wide so we're gonna take it right in the middle at two inches so we want these pieces to actually conjoin at the middle so it looks nice and clean and nice and even so we've got to measure this one and we've got to measure all the way down there we've got about seven pieces of wood we have to measure and once we get those measurements in we're going to cut the wood and drill it in Landon and I are almost done measuring our wood we've got one last piece left right here that we have to measure and mark and then we're actually gonna go to the truck and cut our wood I realize I actually have an outlet in the truck so we can plug the saw right into the truck but this is what we're doing we're gonna stack too high so we're gonna put one right here and then I'm thinking we might put another one at level with this, but we may just, you know, stack them directly on top of each other. And we've got to have the wood go the entire way. So now that we have our wood measured out, well, we're going to head over to the truck. We're going to plug our saw in and cut our wood. All right, we've got our saws going good. Now this saw right here, I literally found this on the side of the road. So if, if it doesn't work, well, we found it on the side of the road. So what's really nice about this new truck is it's actually got a nice little outlet right here. Shout out to Bombden Chevrolet for hooking it up with this nice Chevy right here. Absolutely awesome that I can be working on projects, you know, around the farm and I don't have to have extension cords. I can literally just plug all my equipment right into the back of my truck. Landon's got wood piece number one right here. So when we go to align the wood, what I always do is I actually put this saw blade down so we can line it up right with our line so we are right on there you want to move it just a little back landing just slightly back would you look at that oh oh we're not there yet we've got our wood lined up we just got to check it again all right we're good to go so we're gonna go right now one two three great this saw is garbage well, I guess we know why the guy was throwing it away. The guy told me that the saw worked fine. The guy was obviously lying to me. He gave me a broken saw. We had to evacuate. It started to absolutely pour. And well, our saw is broken. So we actually have to head back to my house and pick up the saw and actually bring it down here. I mean, look at this. We're in an absolute mini hurricane. One hour later. The rain has stopped and Landon and I are back at the house. We've got our saw set up. We've got some wood cut. So basically what we're doing here is we have our wood set up here. We're gonna go for round two. We're gonna cut this piece of wood right here. We're just gonna line this up. You gotta hold it flat. We're gonna go one, two. Woo, look at that. We got some nice cut wood. We got some nice clean cuts. Landon, you're doing good on assistance job. Thank you, brother. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Very, very good. We have our wood all stacked up here. We have some there, and guys, I will be back with all of you once our wood's cut. It's still kind of drizzling and raining. You can kind of see there's some water droplets on the camera lens. But that's that, guys. We're gonna continue chopping wood. We don't wanna bore you with this. And once we're done, we gotta go set up the pen and Depending on how the lighting is today, depending on what time we finish, we may bring the tortoises down today, but most likely it's going to be tomorrow. We're back at the property now, and after a long day of delays between the rain, between the saws not working, we finally got the wood cut. We're back here. We started this project at like 11 o'clock this morning. It's now 6 o'clock. We have got to get the wood installed today. We're not going to be able to move the tortoises today. It's just going to be dark out. We're going to do that tomorrow, but at least we'll have this installed. So the only thing left to do is bring the tortoises in and introduce them into their new home. So to do this, we have to actually drill some holes. So we have the wood here in the middle. The reason being is we're going to have this other piece right here. 
conjoin it in the middle. We're gonna drill two screws in to make sure it's nice and secure. We're gonna put one about there and we're gonna put one there. We're gonna use a nice little drill bit to do that. The reason being is we, if we drill straight in with just the screw, the wood's gonna split because it's close to the edge. So I'd say right about yay, right there's a good spot. Just gonna drill, 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 drill. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we're just gonna undo that. We've got our other Phillips tip right here. We're gonna undo it, undo it right just like that. Now guys, remember if you're operating any power tools, make sure you know what you're doing. Make sure you don't uh, put a screw in your eye. We've got our screw right here. Now we actually use these nice exterior screws that are coated so they don't rust. And we're just gonna place it right where we put that screw hole. And we're just gonna lightly and gently go in, 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 in. And look at that, the wood is nice and secure. We've got to go and do number two now. And well guys, we're gonna keep doing the wood and I'll be back with all of you once it's done. Landon has been doing some good work right here. Oh. And guys, we've been working on this for days now. Yeah. We're almost done. As you can see, we have most of our wood there up here. And I mean, this fence is just absolutely long. This old, nasty, ugly fence. I mean, look at this thing. This thing is so incredibly long. This fence was actually all along this backside here. And you can see it's just all rusty and just kind of just ugly looking. So we decided to cut the fence entirely down. It's looking great. Landon, what do you think, bro? I think it's it's pretty good. We got a lot of wire stuck on the bottom, so we're probably gonna have to remove the wood and put it back, but we're doing a good job. We're doing a good job. Yeah, man, look at that. We've got our fence completely undone. So what I say we do, Landon, is we have to like fold the fence. We're gonna stretch it long ways. Yeah, so let me get this. Yeah, so we're gonna start from here. I'm gonna grab this side right here, and you guys can just see the monstrosity of a fence that we're dealing with right here. It's kind of caught, Landon. It's caught, it's caught. All right, pull, 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 pull. Look at that, look at this fence, man. This thing is so huge. So basically what I think we're gonna do is we're literally just gonna fold this fence in sections just like this. We're just gonna fold it over, step down, and we're just gonna continue doing that until we wrap this fence entirely up. Look at that, we're wrapping it up. Landon, good work. You. Look at that, all that fence you saw right there, probably 50 feet of fence right here. We were able to bundle up in this small little section right here. It's actually pretty light. So we're gonna take this stuff out. We're gonna throw it on the outside of the pen. Then what we have to do is we gotta get our last couple pieces of wood on and then after that, we're gonna head over to my house and pick up the tortoises. What is up guys, what is up? We're back at my house now and we have got to get the big Galapagos tortoises and obviously these are the world's largest tortoises. Now at this size, they're not the world's largest tortoises but they are the world's largest species of tortoise. So when they're full grown, depending on whether they're a boy or a girl, male or female, that's, that's going to determine how big they get. If it's a male, they're gonna be upwards of 500 to 550 pounds when they're full grown. Females anywhere from about 350 to 400 pounds. Landon's already trying to find some of the galops, but we have to actually load them in the back of the truck. We can't put them inside, and Landon is actually gonna have to be in the back of the truck with them. But anyways, we'll get to that in a second. We gotta find these tortoises. Landon, you find any? He's back here. Nice, Landon found one of them. Um, which one is it? Is it the big one? This is the big boy. Oh Girl. yeah. So for those of you that are new to the channel, this is the bigger Galapagos tortoise that I have. You know, she's probably around 70 pounds right now. You can see with my shoe, just like right next to her, just how big she is. Now this one we're gonna load actually last. We've actually got to load the smaller one first. The smaller one's gonna go in a bin. And then we're gonna load that one in, keep it in the bin in the back. And then we're gonna get this big girl right here and load her into the truck. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. There's a frog. That's a swimming. There's a toad that's in there. Look at him. He's swimming around. He hopped in the pool. Now, that's an invasive cane toad. We want this guy to come up, and we actually want to remove him because these cane toads are actually toxic. If you guys have watched the channel before, you've definitely seen these toads. Oh, Landon's got him. Yeah. Landon has got him. Look at that invasive cane toad right oh, here. We but, gotta get no, him. no, we can't, we gotta, we can't let him go. <laughs> so, him oh, he just peed. Oh, he peed all over you? Oh, yeah. And then, look, guys, when you actually go with this toad right here and you actually squeeze right here, it's going to squeeze white toxin out. Oh my gosh, look Whoa. at that, guys. All of that white stuff I'm Whoa. squeezing out right there, that is white toxin and that can actually kill your dog. So I actually have a buddy that collects cane toads and we're gonna give this cane toad to him because well, since it's an invasive species, we don't wanna release it into the environment here. And well, if my dog were to grab this, you know, it could die. And so what we're doing now is we have found the baby Galapagos. As you can see, the baby Galapagos is right here now. I've had this guy since he was literally this big. Guys, if you look at this picture right here, this is him in my hand when he was a tiny little baby. And as you can see, 
over the past couple of years, he has gotten to be just so, so big. I mean, at this point, he's got to weigh around 25 pounds. I'm not sure the sex yet, but you can see it's one big old tortoise. And this is actually going to be a giant one day. Like I was saying before, if it's a male, it'll be around 500 to 550 pounds. In a female, three to 400 pounds. So we're going to take this big guy right here and load him into the truck. This is where the little Galapagos is going to go. The reason being is we don't want two big tortoises moving around and sliding in the truck and the little galop will be able to fit perfectly fine in this bin right here so we're going to pull this bin on down right here just like that we've got the mulch in here come here little guy it's time to go all right big guy you're getting loaded in oh yeah there we go so he is in his bin he is nice and safe nice and secure so we're going to take this bin i'm going to need landon's help to lift this bin up into the truck and then we're going to load the big guy in We've got the tortoise loaded into the bin. Landon's on the other side. We're just gonna lift, lift, lift. Oh Ooh, yeah, it's a stress. big old heavy one right there. The tortoise is in and it's going to get slid to the back of the truck. The little Galapagos is loaded into the truck and now we've got this big girl right here. Now I have not weighed her since last December. Last December she was 67 pounds, so now I'd say she's at least 70 to 75 pounds. She may even be 80 pounds. You know, it's a long walk and you can easily slip because the tortoise shell is kind of smooth and soft. It's not really grippy. So me and Landon are gonna grab from two different angles. So I'm gonna get the front side and Landon is gonna get the back. Right. One, two, three. Okay, we gotta, Oof. We gotta walk. This thing go, is heavy. Go that way. Oh, she's pinching my fingers a little bit. I told you. She is pinching my fingers, but she can't really get it. She's kind of kicking her legs. Doesn't really know what's going on. Three, one, two, two. three. Go up, 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 up. Okay, go. she's loaded in, guys. We're gonna redirect her this way. We're gonna redirect her that way. There you go, big girl. Walk forward, there we go. Good girl, good girl. Come on, Sweet. keep walking. Wow, this thing was heavy. Come on, go, go, go. What you do is you kind of tickle their legs, you kind of touch their shell, and that'll get them to walk forward. Landon, you're gonna get in? All right, so I'm gonna have to ride in the bed of the truck, like Jacob was saying, because we're gonna have to make sure, there is some grip on here, but we're gonna have to make sure that the tortoise doesn't slide around and hurt herself. They are fragile as much as they are armor plated. And I'm just gonna have to ride in the back with them to make sure that nothing happens to either of them. Yeah, guys, Landon's gonna get in the back right there. Landon, hop on in, boy. All right, Landon's in. We're gonna close him up. Landon, you be safe back here, bro. Landon's just here to make sure the tortoises are not sliding, that they stay safe for the ride, and that they're not overheating, and yeah. to get covered in poop. Landon's in the back with the tortoises. You ready, bro? Yeah, we're ready. We got this little guy right here. Oh He's yeah, Landon's go. got the young galop. Looking good, bro. Keep them safe. And now, guys, now we're gonna head on out. We just gotta go put ourselves in drive, and we got to head on out. <laughs> Landon just told me the galop pooped. And I can confirm that it's true. I can smell the Galapagos right now. Landon, did it poop back there? Yeah, it's like this big. Okay, the Galapagos had an absolute massive dump with Landon in the back. Landon's probably going to get Galapagos poop juice all over him. So guys, if you want to see that, guys, go head over to Landon's channel. He's going to have the entire ride back. But anyways, I'm going to close Landon up over there because, well, uh, yeah, it smells really nasty over there and uh, I don't want to smell it. Guys, we're in the line at Popeye's right here and look at this. Look what Landon's dealing with back here. Oh my gosh. You right, having fun, so, bro? Look, I'm not really worried about the mass of ground up vegetation right here that just smells like you don't even know but this juice right here this green sludge juice ah stepping on my toe oh that's not this is not a fun experience guys mission accomplished we went to Popeyes we're trying out the new ghost pepper wings and uh whew, those are spicy Landon how was yours finished up my water spilled oh no uh, after a long car ride, Landon and I have arrived back at the house. Now, I don't even want to look at what's inside of the back of the truck. Let me take a look. Oh, <laughs> Landon, I'm sorry, bro. This is what Landon has been in right here. You have no oh idea. Oh my gosh, bro. Are you covered in poop? No, I had to dodge. I mean, I have a little something here. This one, I don't. again, don't know if it's a boy or a girl, so I don't know what to call it. This guy, this girl, this buddy right here. 
has been trying to come up all of my oh space. I had to move my from there to there. Gosh, guys. I mean, I told you Landon was going to get pooped on. But this right here, I mean, this was just way more than I expected. Landon and I are in the galop pen. The galop pen has been completed. Ooh. We've got all of our wood there. The galops are ready to get in. And we've actually already brought this little guy right here. As you can see, he's already inside of this little structure right here. Landon, grab one side. Let's grab the other. Let's Guys, go comment down below how you think he's going to like his new house. We're just going to put him right here. And there you go. The young Galapagos tortoise is inside of the new home. He's looking absolutely amazing, doing well. And now we've got to get the big guy. The big guy is going to be a real mission considering we're dealing with this. A whole lot of poop, but he's here. He's ready to come out, and I'm so excited to introduce him to his new home. One, two, two, one, two, three, Whoa! Look at that, he's in his new home. Yeah. Guys, this is absolutely amazing. The big guy is out and he is happy to explore his new home. And good thing we put up the new border because obviously that's the first place he comes is he comes to the border. He's coming to this shaded area. I'm so happy that I'm able to give these Galapagos tortoises right here an absolute dream home. I mean, Landon, their enclosure is just absolutely massive. Good stuff. The little guy is enjoying his home right here. Look at him inside of the shade. You're doing so incredibly well, dude. And this home right here is gonna be converted into a winter home, so when it's cold, we're gonna actually insulate this and put doors on it. But for now, it's not cold out, so we don't have to do that. Well, you're doing well, buddy. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. Absolutely amazing. And that, my friends, is going to end today's episode. I hope all of you did enjoy watching today's video. Guys, it was absolutely amazing to bring the world's largest tortoises here to my new zoo. Guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please make sure to go give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you go comment down below what you thought of today's video. I'm so excited to have their permanent home here. And guys, if you are not subscribed already, you enjoy the content, you want to see more giant tortoises, you want to see monkeys, tigers, lions, all kinds of crazy animals, well, what are you waiting for? Go right now and hit that subscribe button and tap that little notification bell and you all will be notified whenever I post.